Welcome to this Freaky Friday edition of Liquid Lunch on Biz TV. I'm John Tobacco. We're coming today live as we do every single day from the Corona Bunker Studios right here in my living room of my house. But we are uh, kicking it real. Last Friday we got really freaky after the show. I don't think the team is down for two weeks in a row. They need like a two-week recovery period to do another Freaky Friday after show. Um, it's going to get freaky today. Markets are... Uh, Shaking off what's happening around here, um, down about 35 points, so moderate day, 26,700 right now, and uh, there's no danger. Above 27,000 close may be a good sign. I do want to say this, but, and I'm getting a lot of feedback from friends and associates, colleagues, and they say, what, really? You really think the market's going to go down that far? This is what I think. I think, categorically, Donald Trump will be re-elected in November of 2020, and the market will go crazy. There is no chance Joe Biden can win. And some of the things that are bubbling to the surface with Joe Biden and the people behind him who are pulling the strings are so disgustingly catastrophic that if it shows that this whole team is going to go by the wayside before the election, the market could take off then. Because what it's really looking at is Trump. If Trump wins, we go nuts. If Trump doesn't win, Joe Biden's plans that he's showing us already, tax hikes, universal health care, let people out of jail, less cops, defund the police, all that stuff is scaring the heck out of the market. So um, right now in the short term, I think there's volatility. There are a lot of hot spots that are spiking. There are red states that weren't exactly uh, adhering to all the protocols earlier. So I think how we get through this period uh, a vaccine, anything like that, market goes nuts. In the meantime, if there's uncertainty in here, then people are going to think it's overbought. They're going to look forward at the earnings coming up down the line and realize they're not going to be that good. And then restaurants are starting to close again in some states, like here in New York. And if you start to pull back the reins going towards more stimulus, then this thing is going to spit the bit. And I'm just keeping you aware that you could wake up and the market could be 19000 Okay, that's the next downside stop to me. There's one at 24, there's one at 22, but a full clean out is there and a, hopefully a gigantic bounce. But we'll keep our eye on that. Bitcoin is at uh, 9,100 today, still dangerously close to that 9,000 uh, rounding number there. A close below there on a Friday, I wouldn't like very much, but uh, I'll keep you updated on anything big happening there. It's been kind of building a lot of support between nine and 10,000, which is a good thing. Now today, um, you're gonna need more than a cold one. I know I do. And we're gonna do something that I've been reluctant to do, but we're gonna go start going deep down the rabbit holes. And um, I'm wearing my Panzoni t-shirt today. Panzoni is an organic vodka from straight from Italy. No animals were harmed in its production. It's vegan, everything. And uh, we had our friends on from Trio, Organic Fruit and Birch Water, a couple weeks back. And they pledged to send us some, some of their drinks. These are the Trio drinks, okay? Birch Water, fruit flavored Birch Water. Oh, I hope there's a black cherry in here. Boom, blueberry, I'll take a blueberry, all right? I love black, black cherry's the best. So what I'm gonna do today I hope you'll join me. We're going to go down the rabbit hole and we're going to start looking at factual evidence related to the correlations between Pizzagate and terms that are frequently used in uh, FBI searches and the emails of John Podesta, Hillary Clinton and others. And these are just going to be the facts, but I've been going down the rabbit hole. I'm going to have a Ponzoni and birch water, blueberry birch water to get myself primed up, but we're gonna start taking a look at what's true, what's false, and uh, when Jesus statues are getting beheaded in Florida, it starts to go from bad form of people to religion, and uh, there's a cult out there, we're gonna look into it. <laughs> 